is a wonderful day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello guys and welcome back. Um, here is I know I just uploaded uploaded the video maybe about a day or two I think it was about the clip shift, and it's quite a cool trick. It's a nice effect. But after a couple of days of practicing, I think I may have just slightly tweaked it and perfected it. Uh, so, uh, two minutes. So. Basically, um, <laughs> you're gonna uh, do this. Right, so let's do it and click this. Right, sorry about that, we distraction. Oh my god. Right, open this. Mute. Hello. Yeah, blah blah blah. There we go. So this voice changer thing I had to mute it. Right, and I think you've tweaked it and uh, you've it. So here we go. Uh, there's so many different cards in the deck. I'm just going to give it a shuffle. Just a couple of them. Not very much. No, um, no let's give it another couple. Shuffles. Cause there's a bench in there. There's a clip in there. It might be hard. Right. I may teach, I'm going to teach you how to throw this for this as well. Right. So, um, this first one's going to fail, right? And yet one was going to fail there because I didn't have the right grip on it. Yeah, right. So, body hearts, shake it. Oops, sorry, I wasn't on the camera there. But I did get it. Right. Just going to shake the deck like this. And it becomes the jack of spades. Right. Take again. Ready? One. Two, three, four diamonds now. One last time. Oh, crap. And shake it. Eight, what speed anyway? One last time. And one, two, three. Shake it. Easy clubs. So, in case you haven't noticed yet, you're going to take your bottom card in a way. You can transfer it to the top. Magic like that. So it's not exactly magically, but you kind of get the gist of what I'm talking about. And it really does take a lot of practice because, first of all, your hands need to get used to grabbing the deck. Then you should be able to take the car from the bottom. Which I'm going to teach you, so that doesn't really matter. That says that. Right. So, and you can do it with any deck. Let me just show you. Get my dragon back ones here. Right. Uh, before I show you the tutorial, the tutorial I'm going to show you another kind of like effect that I come up with. Right. So seventy diamonds. Shake that in ten clubs. Right. Um, ten clubs. Shake that, 70 speeds. I'll do it right in f oh, sugar. You might have seen that there? That was my fault. Go ahead and do it right in front of your face this time, ready? And really quickly as well. Right, watch. One, two, three. Right? I'll do it right close. One, two, three. Right? Just like that. And it just takes the bottom card straight to the top. In a motion, in a motion fill, you might say, in a motion fill moment, or you could just slide it on like that. See how quick that was there? That's all it takes, it's just a slight wee nibble to the deck, just like that, and it's changed. So, here's the tutorial, right? <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it with your thumb at the bottom in the middle. Put your finger there, your index finger, rest it right on top. I'm going to take these three fingers and you're going to make it like that. So, the bits there, your your fingers, like the bits, should curl around the bottom of the deck. Like that. Okay. And so, in that part, you're going to put 
push this, like grab it right at the corner, push it once until you're about a third at the side, right? You're going to clip it and pull it right over the top while pushing the deck downwards for your index finger like that, just a slight bit. And then at this part, you're going to pull your pinky outwards and then pull it in kind of like that. And at that point, you're going to clip it. This is probably why they call it clip shift. Clip it with this finger and pull it right in. Right, so you basically go like that, pull it across, pull it in, clip it with your finger, pull it right up. And it really does take a lot of practice just to get it. Just to get it from here, or just to get the top card, 